I've been riding my bike since I was a kid. I've had good days and I've had bad days. But I honestly never thought that this is something that could happen to me. In these events, most of the time we see abrasions, lacerations, dislocations. Craig wasn't like that. Right in the beginning, we knew it was something serious. I had no idea of how severe heat illness can be. The very last thing I remember was getting off my bike after like the second or third time of trying to pedal and stumbling and saying to Michael, okay, let me try and push a bit. Uh, maybe that'll be fine. And pushing my bike and then falling over and just looking at him and be like, yeah, something's not right. That's the last thing I remember. Why to Wales there are a few things, um, firstly time of year so we know that it's going to be hot and then um, the routes are quite extreme, there are some days where there's some quite interesting, quite technical obstacles and so technical terrain. Now remember this particular morning we actually had the heaters on in the morning and then we put the heaters off and I said bring the ice it's getting hot and then it just the heat just went up and up and we just knew now you know we have to start preparing for for heat illness. Craig was having uncontrollable seizures. If it was not treated and it was not controlled, there's a heart chance that he could stop breathing, his heart could stop beating and he could go into a cardiac arrest. I've been in emergency medicine for 20 years and I've never seen a patient with a body core temperature of 43 degrees. When Craig started fitting and we had him in the water, we realised that we've now got a very serious case of heat illness and we realised that we needed to get him to a tertiary facility fast and that's when the call was made that we're going to see if there's a chopper available and we're going to fly him out. So we just knew our role was to get him as cold as possible and to keep him submerged and to stabilise him. Teamwork is everything, it's not negotiable. At ES24, we strive to provide real help real fast. Some days we have bad days and some days we have good days. In other words, some days we lose and some days we win. But we won in this case. And the reason we won was because we had such an experienced event team, such experienced medics. They were prepared, they were passionate and there was good communication and every step of the way it, it was it was smooth transition, you know, and that's one of the ways that we win, and it was a good story. What's become abundantly clear is that if it wasn't for the amazing treatment that I got. I wouldn't have made it. They said if it had taken five minutes longer to get me to the initial medic tent, I wouldn't have made it. Um, if it wasn't for the amazing treatment that I got from the ER24 ER paramedics, um, the medic clinic doctors there at the race village and the doctors that, were, that treated me here, I wouldn't have made it. So to me, they're heroes. They, yeah, I'm eternally grateful to them for what they did for me. Cannot thank them enough.